good morning and welcome to another video on my channel my name is Fernanda if you're new here and if you're not then welcome back hello guys it is Sunday today and it's a cloudy one but I'm excited because today I'm gonna be filming a Sunday reset routine and I've got a lot planned for the day my friend Trinity is coming over later and we're gonna have a little afternoon planning for the week ahead and we're gonna make some dinner and so I'm really excited let's get a little like a coffee or like a drink going so that we can get started on our morning we have so much to do today even though it is like a Sunday relaxing day I have a lot of cleaning to do so it's kind of gonna be like a spring cleaning get my life together reset for the week Sunday vibe not really the cozy Sunday vibe because we cannot be slacking right now honestly if you're new to my channel make sure you're subscribed all links will be in the description down below and let's get on to the video okay today we're gonna make my favorite matcha drink this has been my absolute fave drink because it has a whole bunch of different healthy things that are added to it and I actually made this on TikTok a while ago but I've never done it for YouTube so I'm gonna show you guys my special matcha drink what you will need is a greens powder. I specifically like this one by Teenies. It is matcha and it has a whole bunch of different super green things. I'm also using a regular matcha powder. This is David's Tea brand and it's in the flavor vanilla. We've then got this. This is the newest addition to my health frothy matcha recipe. I just bought this from Erwan when I was in LA, which is so classic LA of me to say. I feel like this is lion's mane, which is a brain power mushroom dietary supplement. I don't know, apparently like, certain types of mushrooms are really good for your brain health and low-key my memory is so bad. <laughs> so like I would not be opposed to having a little bit of a sharper mind. So anyways, yeah, I got this. I saw someone recommend this on TikTok and it was supposed to be really good. They said that they saw so many benefits, so I bought it. And it's by the brand Rainbow. And I'm also gonna use oat milk. This isn't my favorite brand, but it's the one that I currently have. It is just by the Costco brand. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of vanilla sweetener which artificial sweetener isn't really great for you but it does make the drink taste better and last but not least I am gonna take some vitamins and I just wanted to show these because I just got these as well in LA I was recently at a award show and in the goodie bags we got these they're fit with Cambry deep bloating pills and honestly fit with Cambry I followed her for such a long time and I know that she has her own like supplement brand and she would always talk about how much she loved these so that's what I'm gonna do um, and then I also have my gummy vitamins because you guys know I'm obsessed with those I'm just gonna be taking these two I've got probiotic gummy by a line and the nature's bounty hair skin and nails vitamins I think this is vitamin C E and biotin Whole bunch of these candles from Meliora Candle Co. I think it's a small business in Vancouver and they're so cute. This one is oak and ivory with eucalyptus and amber and I'm obsessed. Guys, this background behind me looks so spring. Yesterday and the day before was so sunny. It was beautiful out and we have to take one for the team. I guess that's why it's cloudy today. But anyways, the matcha is served. How does she look? Very good. Honestly, like I said, you can't taste the greens powder. And I also can't taste the lion's mane. Also, I was doing some little research, and by research, I mean searching up on TikTok about the benefits of lion's mane because I didn't want to be just saying that I was taking it for no reason. It says online that it catalyzes the growth of neurons in your brain, which allows you to process new information similar to when you were a kid and you can like learn new skills a lot faster. It also improves your focus, memory. It has just helped a lot of people, especially like in school and stuff. And honestly, I could use a little bit more focus in my life. I feel like I've been a little bit 
little bit scatterbrained recently. And also, that's why we have the journal out today. We're gonna do a little bit of journaling. I know you guys always ask me to do like a tutorial on journaling, like a podcast episode on journaling, and I do wanna do that. I just I haven't done it yet because I feel like there's more topics or video things that I've just wanted to do more that I haven't done this. You can either do journal prompts or you can do journal entries like just about your day or you can do like lists. I like doing that or like gratitude or just like a brain dump. Like everything that you're thinking of, just put it on paper. Speaking of brain dump, I want to tell you guys, I feel like I haven't really given you guys a little update on the YouTube channel and I am so sorry for that. So I want to kind of do that really quickly right now. If you guys aren't subscribed to my podcast, I know I've been plugging it in like that is not intentional. I just feel like I don't talk about it enough on my main YouTube channel that a lot of my viewers that watch me on here don't know that I have a podcast yet because I still get comments of people being like, what? I didn't know you had a podcast. And I'm like, I swear I've been plugging it in everywhere. I've been doing that for like six weeks now and that has taken up so much of my t- mental time. It just adds overwhelm to yourself. And it's basically like getting two videos up a week because I'm doing my main channel as well as getting my podcast episode up as well as doing the podcast YouTube video up. So I have been doing two videos a week that doing three videos a week is almost like a little too much for me, which is why the main channel, I've been doing it basically once a week, if that makes sense. I need to get better at just like working more efficiently or like delegating my tasks so that I can do more and no aspect of my business, this isn't a business, but like my job gets a hit taken, if that makes sense. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of me, please, 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 please watch the other podcast channel because I don't want you guys to think that I've just like forgotten about you guys on this side. It's just that I've been trying something else and I've been really enjoying it. So I hope you guys can understand that. I'm here in Vancouver for a while. I'm honestly really excited because now that it's spring, I feel like the weather is starting to turn up. There is definitely a shift in energy when it is spring and summer versus winter and fall in Vancouver. Like just everybody is in a better mood and they're ready to hang out. I feel like the introverts get out of their shell of being in the winter at home. And so there's been a lot more social plans and I'm really excited to just take you guys on more vlogs because I used to always do like fun days in my life and like come hang out with me with my friends. And sometimes it hurts my feelings. It hurts my feelings when you guys are like, I miss when you would do videos with your friends because I miss it too. And things have just changed. I feel like I've grown up a little bit over this past year where all my friends have like their jobs now. And like some are starting their nine to five, some are doing it abroad. And it's definitely been like a change period for me where I don't see my school friends, the ones that you guys know very well and that I would show in my videos a lot. I haven't seen them as often because they're working and they live a little bit further from me. And this new chapter of my life is like making new friends and making friends in my 20s and I've had to learn that making friends in your 20s and adult relationships are a lot different than your high school friendships that you've known for years you guys can just hang out for a few hours and like that's enough whereas I feel like friendships now you really have to nurture them and like hang out with them often make memories and adjust to everyone's schedule like it's just way different having friends now than it was before and so I'm just navigating that but I feel like when I first moved to Vancouver, I didn't really have that many friends. And finally, after a year of being here, I've made a whole bunch of friends and I'm excited now that I have my place to like bring them all together. I wanna do like a picnic or like host a paint night or something. And that I wanna vlog because I feel like that would be super fun. So that's where my vibe is right now. May is starting. That is so anxiety. I'm gonna do some goal setting for the month. And yeah, I feel like this is the perfect day to do so because it is Sunday. just finished she's very cute I put it on the screen for you guys so you guys could kind of read it if you wanted to but I just did a gratitude list I did five things that I was grateful for this morning and I did a to-do list if you saw my to-do list I have a lot of cleaning to do like actually so much cleaning to do god I need to be better at cleaning every day rather than keeping it till the end of the week but I have so much cleaning to do it isn't even just cleaning it's like getting the house ready for people to come over later which is like it needs to be extra crisp Cute little journal moment. Before we clean, why don't I give you guys a little bit of a PR haul because I love doing that. 
the lighting is low-key so bad right now but look at all of the boxes that i have here and also i forgot to tell you guys what an l i told you that i was going to mexico in the last vlog i think and that fully fell through so i don't have mexico plans anymore but i do really want to go on like a warm vacation so hopefully i can fix that and we can do that soon because i think that would also be very fun to vlog but quickly let me just show you a few of the packages i'm really excited to use starting off with the fact that i got a package from giorgio armani this is actually the foundation that i use every day and i'm absolutely obsessed with it it is the giorgio armani luminous silk i use the shade at six but they sent me a whole bunch of different products so i definitely want to film a tiktok doing like full face of giorgio armani the other makeup products that i just got are a whole bunch of i think it's called like Elia or something. I don't know. I've heard so many good things about them. So I also want to film a TikTok doing a full face. I got this package. That's Dr. Dennis Gross. It's like a face serum. This is a package from Pixi and it's an in shower facial. Basically, you can see it like this. You put this on as a face mask and then the steam from the shower starts making the mask self heat and it makes the shower into like a home spa. Anyways, I think this is super cool. So we're definitely gonna use this tonight when I shower. And yeah, those are probably my top PR packages that I loved. I also got some more candles from Meliora Candle Co. So I could definitely use these tonight when we make dinner. Next up, I think we should start cleaning. Honestly, I'm like kind of prolonging it being like, what else can I do other than that? But it's honestly pretty urgent. Um, we might just get started on like laundry and cleaning up like the bigger things. And then we can make breakfast in a little bit because it's like already 12. It's honestly been quite some time now, but I just haven't been that hungry yet. So let's do some cleaning. I feel like this is the best it's gonna get obviously it could be cleaner in terms of the boxes But there's just so many as you can see I have my collection of PR boxes here And then I have little Mishi who keeps getting his dirty little paws on everything so he probably shouldn't be up there But he's just so cute It's nice and know you care, you know you care about something Even when it's God, that's bubbly we had to pull out the energy drink you know why we are going to do the thing that i hate most the thing that i hate most do you know what it is it's taking out the trash oh my god i don't think that there's something more that i hate it smells horrible in there <laughs> i'm just a girl i'm like where is my strong man to do the garbage for me times like these i do wish i had a roommate or my boyfriend living here because I don't want to be doing this job. But anyways, we need to go take the garbage out, specifically the compost, because I have food in my fridge that's rotting. I'm sorry, TMI. I left it there before I went to Coachella and I've been so afraid to open my fridge because it's fluffy now. Is that bad to say? I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault, it was not intentional, okay? I left it there before I left. I'm gonna put some pants on so that I don't look like a freak in my little shorty shorts. I'm gonna have to plug my nose. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm also gonna take the garbage out of my bathroom so that I can get it all in one bunch and just go down there and do, do more than just going down once because I might as well get my rounds worth.
guys, things are turning up. Everything looks so much better, so much cleaner, and I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. We're nowhere near done. Still have so much to clean, but I feel better. So we're gonna make some breakfast. I think what I'm gonna do is have two eggs for some protein. We're gonna have half an avocado for some healthy fats. I'm going to cut up some strawberries for some fruit. I'm gonna just start with that and see if I'm hungry, we'll make more. I'm never too crazy with my breakfasts. I feel like maybe I should expand to like making more things, but I always just feel like eggs or like avocado toast or even like a smoothie is my vibe. On Friday, it was actually the hottest day of 2023 so far. So you already know the beaches in Vancouver were packed. Like, I swear, when it's a sunny day, everybody is outside. Me and Trinity took our bikes and we went all the way to Granville Island. If you're from Vancouver, you'll know where that is. We just kind of walked around, we got food. And there's like a whole market there, so we just kind of like looked through all the food options. And then after that, we went back on our bikes and we went all the way to English Bay, which is like a beach here. We ended up going to this restaurant called Hook and it's like all seafood. We ended up getting like crispy prawns, we got oysters, which is so fun. Lobster rolls, so random. Some drinks, I got a little white wine and I got a Moscow mule, which was delish. And then I hung out with a new friend, which was so freaking fun. I hope I can film like a little video with us soon, but you guys may know her. She does TikTok and she's from Australia, which is so crazy. She actually just moved to Vancouver. Basically we met up and we went to a soccer game. We went to a Whitecaps game, which is crazy because I haven't been to a Whitecaps game, which is like a Vancouver soccer team in so long. I had such a good time with her. She was so cute and so fun. And then after that we went to this ice cream place called mister in Yale town It was delicious if you guys go to that ice cream place you have to get the Thai milk tea ice cream I feel like I had a great weekend meal is served. Honestly, this is like my favorite breakfast and it's so simple to make and I feel like we're hitting all the food groups here. How good does this look? bunch of these like chocolate yogurt covered frozen fruits and they are so freaking good this one is the pina colada flavor you have to buy these i'm not sure if they have them in canada everywhere like maybe costco and superstore i've got coconut and dark and milk chocolate dark chocolate mangoes these are really good white and dark chocolate blueberries i feel like i'm gonna love these but i haven't opened them yet so i'm gonna save them i also have some strawberries i have some cherries and then i have milk chocolate bananas I've eaten like three bags, I swear. I think my ultimate favorite one was the chocolate almond butter banana ones. Those ones are amazing. running so late i'm just doing a quick little makeup look which honestly i wanted to show you guys my makeup so this is kind of an l but she's gonna be here any minute now so i'm just doing a quick little quick little something i feel very proud of myself honestly it is literally 7 48 p.m and i have been cleaning all freaking day it was so needed i don't know why i thought i was just gonna clean a few rooms i was like sunday reset no babe this was deep clean the apartment i cleaned everything there's a few more things that i could do but up till now i feel like everything looks so much better off camera i I did clean some more of the windows and the mirrors and I swept a little bit more and I just feel like everything looks a lot better. I do still have laundry going so my bed isn't ready to be made yet, but I'm gonna stick Mishu in here just because I'm not sure how he's gonna react with Trinity and I think she might be allergic, but she's actually already downstairs. So I'm gonna go meet her downstairs. I'm just wearing this black tank top and some sweatpants, some socks. I've got my black little bag with me and I'm gonna wear some black and white dunks and we're gonna go to the grocery store and buy what we need for dinner tonight. Oh my 
cute. You guys look so cute. Thank you. Just came up with a recipe. We're gonna make kebabs and uh, what is it called? Cowboy caviar. Cowboy caviar. It's like a Mexican salad, basically. <laughs> but I'm very excited. We're gonna look for all the ingredients and then. I'm looking at both cameras right now. Starting off, actually, we got some of these. You can explain I didn't these. even look at what was fully in them. We're gonna make little mocktails, and we got this drink. I think this is by the brand Soda. Soda? It's the Calm flavor, and it has ashwagandha. Have you taken ashwagandha before? No, my boyfriend used to take it. I don't really? know if he got any results, but... I've never taken it either, but I hear it, like, everyone in the wellness scene talking about it. These, they're grapefruit and hibiscus. Sparkling organic tea with adaptogens. Okay, anyways. We're in our mocktail era. Mm-hmm. We'll have a cute little glass to put them in. I have purple tulips. <laughs> Yay! Because you have to have, <laughs> like, four in there. <laughs> you have you have to have a pretty kitchen while you're cooking. It just, it makes it more of a vibe. It makes it an experience. Yeah. You just, yeah. I, have, I love that face so much. Yes. Yeah, because these ones might not be tall enough. Mm -hmm. <gasps> these will be stunning. Really? Yeah, it's like perfect. Maybe, Maybe we'll cut them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> They're like really long. This is my air oh, fryer. Okay, step one. We have to, we have to rinse our veg. True. I'll be on couscous duty. Okay. <laughs> that's actually perfect because that's the one thing I never make and okay. I'm very bad at it. So we just like went. Like, like I think it's um. Oh, we made those pancakes. Trin's got the whole setup here. <laughs> she's she's doing all the work here. She's cutting up the veg. She did all of this, and she put the flat. God, you're doing too much. <laughs> this is my love language. This is my good. Thing. Good. I like it. I like it. Our tulips look really sad right now, but they'll look better tomorrow, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> I got this vase. This is actually thrifted, and then this is from Luna Meza. She handmade this. They're so cute. Look at how delicious everything looks. I actually think it's like kind of perfect for the vibe that we have this Sunday evening. Yeah. <laughs> Eight and a half. My friends left, Trinity and her boyfriend are gone. You can probably hear it already, but I have the shower running. I'm going to take a shower, exfoliate my body, and I'm going to self-tan tonight. I'm working with Tanologist, but Tanologist is actually a brand that I've been using for the past year, and it probably is my favorite self-tanner that I've ever used, so I'm super excited to be working with them, and I'm excited to wake up with a tan tomorrow because I'm so pale right now. So anyways, I'm gonna go in the shower. I'm so freaking tired. I'm gonna try to get this done efficiently and quickly and get straight into bed. Mm -hmm. 